Hi folks, G3 here. Today I'm looking at the Suri Sonic Toothbrush. I've been using a toothbrush for just over three months now, so I've got a pretty good idea as to what it's like to use it and whether I found it effective or not. So I'm going to take you through the unboxing, show you a little bit about it. I'm going to be changing the head today because it's just over three months. So you'll see that process and I'll give you my thoughts on whether I think it's a good toothbrush or not. So let's get on with it. The Suri toothbrush came well packaged. Inside the box, we have the Suri toothbrush and there is also a returns envelope to send back the heads for recycling. They say, please keep me and put your used toothbrush heads in when done. Once you have four, please put me in the post box so I can be recycled for free. So it's great, but you've got to wait till you've got four to make it worthwhile, but they provide this envelope for you to send them off to be recycled. And the Suri box itself, it says it's a sustainable sonic toothbrush and self-cleaning case. Now the color for this one is Sea Mist. Also on the box, they say recyclable, medium soft, plant-based head and bristles, premium aluminum body, innovative, repairable design, professional, clean, designed and tested with dentists. It's got a UVC LED clean and charge case that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. It's got a 40 day battery and four hour fast charge, 33,000 sonic vibrations per minute, and it's fully waterproof IPX7 rated. They are certified B Corporation and they're Red Dot winner 2023. Designed in London and California, produced by Suri. So within the box itself, just take a little label off the side and it should just push out. There we go, so it's just a cover that's on the outside. Suri, because our habits can change the world. And it's got the instructions in here. What they're saying is you need to charge. So you plug the Suri to charge for a few hours before first use. Just connect the stand to any five volt USB 2.0 charger. If it's blinking blue, it's charging. If it's solid white, it's fully charged. So slide your brush head on until it clicks into place. And then clean by push your brush's button to turn on everyday clean mode. There's a white light. You push it again to put it onto polish mode, which is a blue light, and after, push it to turn it off. If you haven't used a Sonic toothbrush before, there is a code you can scan to uh, get some tips. They tell us about the case. It's got built-in UVC light that cleans your brush of 99.9% .9 of bacteria in one minute. So when plugged in, close the case and click the button on the top to activate the one minute UVC LED cleaning sequence. Leave the case closed until the blue light on top turns off. And your case can also charge your brush by connecting the provided cable to any five volt USB 2 charger. To be bedroom friendly, the case light won't indicate when charging, but your brush light will blink blue and turn solid white when fully charged. You've got a mount, a magnetic mount that you can stick somewhere to put your toothbrush onto. So it's a mirror mount. You've got to remove the adhesive cover and stick it on a clean mirror. And line up the middle of the brush against the mount. The built-in magnet will hold it securely in place. And when talking about the brush heads, so the plant-based heads are recyclable. Right, there we go. That's the leaflet that comes with it. Final piece here, so that is the case and there's a lift me section in here and they've got the charging stand and USB cable and then there's a brush head in this side so let's get those out there's a little pull to get those out so the charging stand got the cable and that's a USB connection for the charging stand. It says, charge your brush for four hours before first use. Try not to charge it again until the front light is red. This will save energy and your battery life. It comes with this mount, mirror mount. So you can take the sticky tape off the back and then put that onto the mirror. So it's got a little magnet in here, and boom, pop that against, and it's then sitting against the mirror. Um, it also comes with a cable to connect up to this carry case. So there you go, There's, that's where the power goes in. Um, there's a couple of charging elements at the bottom, so the brush will sit in here as a travel case. 
Within the travel case, you've got a UV light up here, which helps keep it bacteria free when you've um, plugged it in and turned it on. And then you've got the UV light, which will keep it um, bacteria free, which is uh, really good. It's um, a little bit of weight to it because the brush itself is actually remarkably light. It's a really good lightweight brush, very easy to maneuver. So um, yeah, that's nice and light. The travel case is a little bit heavier. Um, but then, so it does have the um, capability to clean it, protect it, and, um, and keep it charged when you put it uh, connected through. So, um, good little travel case there. Now, what we're looking at doing today, because um, it's gone past three months, I'm looking at changing the uh, the brush in because you're supposed to keep it every two to three months. There's no real sign of wear on the brushes. Um, it's just a bit of discoloration in the bottom from uh, where I've got some toothpaste in there. Very straightforward process um, to remove the head, and it's just a case of pulling it off. There's a little bit of toothpaste residue in and around here so I'm going to clean it off before I put the uh, the next one on so I'll do that in a moment. Okay so by the magic of TV here's one I prepared earlier I've gone and cleaned it um, so it's uh, yeah, a little bit a um, little bit nicer on the head there now to uh, affix the next head and this one I'm going to be putting the uh, the brush in this bag ready for recycling so boom this can go in there bang gonna have another three of those um, over uh, the coming year and then I'll be sending it off to Suri so really good that was fairly straightforward next thing I'm gonna be fitting a new brush head and I've got this one here I bought a pack of three and this is the sea mist um, simply a case of there we go tearing that off the top a new brush will pop out there we go one new brush head. So simply a case of fitting this on. There's only one way around it would go. Boom, there we go, that's on. As you can hear, it's vibrating away. We've got the, uh, the little light on there. So what do I think of the brush after having used it for over three months now? Well, actually, I really like it. It's really good. I've used the electric toothbrush for quite some time now, usually sort of the Oral-B um, format. So it was a bit of a change to go over to this Sonic one. And actually, I found it no trouble whatsoever. I understood that there might be a bit of a um, learning curve with regards to how the brushing works being different with Sonic, but I didn't really have any uh, problem at all. Picked it up straight away. It's been giving me a really good clean. Uh, my dentist has commented on the cleanliness of the teeth when using this, so that's really good. It's been getting in the nooks and crannies between my teeth. Uh, obviously, I still need to do a bit of um, uh, use of the interdental brushes, but, but this is a really good brush at getting around the teeth. One thing to note, it's got the timer on here, which gives you that little uh, indication when it's time to move on to another quadrant. It gives you that little vibration. Um, I found that time to be a little bit quick, personally. So what I do is I double the time, basically, for, for my use. So it will give that little vibration to move on to the next quadrant, which I do. And that sort of finishes about halfway through cleaning my cleaning my entire mouth. So I then just press the button again for it to restart and do other quadrants and work through it that way. So that's fine, works well for me. One thing I noticed was that the battery life for this is exactly as they quote. It is 40 days worth of battery um, on a full charge. The first time that I ran it through, I was using its timer for the quadrant. So I was only using it for that length of time and it did last 40 days. So so it's, it's absolutely spot on and it's a very quick charging process on this base which has a USB cable on the end and it's just boom magnetizes in there sits in there and charges and uh, the light will pulse um, as it's charging up uh, it'll pulse blue whilst it's charging and then it'll be solid white once it's fully charged but that's a very straightforward process I don't recall exactly how long it took to charge but it, it was extremely quick um, so it's a really uh, really efficient process love it so in summary, I would say it's an awesome toothbrush. It's really getting my teeth clean. It's very easy to change the head after three months use and then send them back for recycling. So that's really good that it's that recycling process available for them. It's really good that it comes with that travel case with the UV light to keep your bristles bacteria free. The battery life is really good, lasts a long time between charges and it's very quick to charge up as well. So that is fantastic. It's lightweight. You can also use the magnetic attachment on a bathroom mirror to keep it there if you're short on space. That's really good. But the elephant in the room is it's not the cheapest toothbrush on the market, but this is a toothbrush that's been designed to be as sustainable as, as possible. You can change individual parts of it rather than throwing the whole thing away. The brush heads are easily interchangeable and recyclable as part of their uh, system. 
going off to Surrey to get those recycled. So to me, it's a really sensible choice if you're looking for a sustainable toothbrush. A really good option. It is recommended thoroughly. Well, there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed that unboxing and review of the Surrey toothbrush. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this toothbrush, whether you've been using it or whether you're considering it or what alternative you're using that is a sustainable option. I'd love to hear from you. Up next, I've got this video that you might find useful. And if you haven't done so already, then why not subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Until next time, bye.